CR123 lithium batteries. Can they be replaced with these 16340 rechargeables? Well, they haven't completely fried my flashlights yet. Do you want to know more? Stay tuned and I'll try to help you with that. You, do you get it? Hey, Happy New Year. Our planet's made a full revolution around the sun, so we should be happy about that. Duh. All right. This is a warning. Lithium ion batteries, if improperly handled, can be incredibly dangerous, so be careful. All right, so I bought this kit off Amazon for 20 bucks a few months ago, and it's no longer being sold on Amazon. Go figure. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's fairly unsafe due to the charger. These batteries at a full charge from this charger reach almost 4.3 volts per cell, and that's not good. Also, the literature that comes with the whole kit says it's not good as well, but who cares? Let's just ship the batteries with a charger that charges them over the safe voltage. <laughs> wow. Maybe that's why they're not sold on Amazon anymore. Anyway, uh, these regular CR123 or CR123A lithium batteries operate at around 3 volts and then go down to 2 volts. Uh, but these rechargeable ones operate between 4.2 and 3-ish volts. Uh, 4.2 volts is quite an increase of electrical pressure versus 3 volts that the normal CR123 lithium batteries give. And so that raises a concern. Uh, will you fry out your flashlight? Well, I've got a couple different flashlights that take these CR123 batteries. And uh, yeah, so far the, the rechargeable batteries charged to 4.2 and to 4.3 volts uh, do not fry the flashlights out. Also, the flashlights don't seem to get like noticeably hotter uh, running on these rechargeable batteries versus the other ones either, so that's good. I have discovered one strange thing though, and that is that the button of these batteries compared to the normal ones are shorter. Like, check it out. Oh yeah, and check this out too. So this is the inside of uh, both of the Bushnell flashlights that I've got. You know, do you see that? Where the positive end of the battery contacts uh, the inside of the flashlight, it has like a plastic ring-shaped protrusion around the contact on one of the flashlights, but not the other. So at first I thought I fried my flashlight because I put the batteries in like charge and it wouldn't turn on, but I later found out that the rechargeable batteries could not like reach the contact because a button was just, it was too small. It's very strange. Here's a good piece of information. The capacity of rechargeable batteries is less compared to the normal CR123 non-rechargeable batteries. I got a link in the description that uh, Energizer puts out about their batteries, if you want to check numbers. But I've done a capacity test on one of these batteries with my IMAX B6AC, and uh, from 3.1 volts to 4.2 volts, it reads around 500 milliamp hours worth of electricity stored. And that's around 1,000 milliamp hours less than the standard CR123 batteries, but also, it is a fairly conservative voltage range. I did not drain them all the way down to like 2.75 volts, like for the test. So, yeah. And for a longer duration test, I charged the batteries off the charger they came with. So it's almost 4.3 volts per cell. And then I put them in this Innova X5 flashlight by Night Eyes. Yeah, I bought it with my own money. But man, I love flashlights. This one was on clearance for a dollar. <laughs> Ugh. How do you pass that up? Anyway, uh, the light has two settings, low and high. I left the flashlight on low for a little over a half an hour, and then the low feature like broke or something, and it just went to the high. It wouldn't switch back to low. That was weird. So I left it off for the night, and about seven hours later, I ran it on a high for about 45 minutes because it was able to turn on to high. So yeah. And then uh, I tried cycling it, and the low mode started to work. So yeah, that was weird. It's been almost like three hours. I've just let it sit there on low and I haven't had any other problems arise. So yeah, that's interesting. So is replacing your CR123 batteries with these rechargeable 16340 batteries a good idea or a bad idea? Well, the rechargeable batteries operate at a higher voltage. So I wanna say it's officially a bad idea, but with my experience so far, they do work. And again, the batteries can be dangerous if you mishandle or inappropriately charge them. Also, you shouldn't drain them all the way dead. Now, the paperwork that came with these batteries said they came with full protection, yet taking the shrink wrap off did not reveal any protection anything, except for the shrink wrap itself. Here's what a protection circuit looks like. Uh, also, uh, don't take the shrink wrap off of batteries because it can cause uh, like a short and start a fire. I just did this to show you what I found, which was nothing protection-ish-ishness. 
what should you do? Hmm. If you spent hundreds of dollars on the regular CR123 batteries over the past year or so, and you decide to buy these 16340 batteries to replace those CR123s, just regular ones, uh, because you keep spending money, I have four suggestions. And the fourth one is the most important. Okay, one, it's to get a good quality charger. The one that came with these batteries, for instance, is not a good quality charger because it charges the batteries to a higher voltage than they should be charged to. And then if probably you leave it plugged in, even worse things will happen. Two, uh, keep an eye on the voltages regularly. Yeah, that's a good suggestion. Uh, if you draw the voltage below a safe level and then charge them back up, uh, bad things can happen. One example is a fire. Yep. <laughs> Three, be ready to damage your flashlights because of the higher voltages that these batteries have. It's just because I didn't fry my flashlights during my testing doesn't mean that yours will end up the same. I don't know. Maybe after like 100 hours, you fry out the bulb or something. I don't know. Okay, and the fourth and final suggestion, the most important suggestion, if you're not completely attached to your flashlight that runs these CR123 batteries, buy a flashlight that comes with or is intended to be used with rechargeable batteries. Uh, one example is this Orca Torch flashlight. A while back, uh, they sent me this to test and review, and I did, and it works well. The batteries it came with also had a protection oh. circuit built in, so you could not over drain them or overcharge them, and that's nice. It makes battery life longer as well, um, and yeah, it's totally worth it because safety. All right, well, before making this video, I couldn't find anything about these batteries in flashlights on YouTube, so now there's a video about it, yeah. And I hope that helped. See you later, internet.